Recently in previous video we learned about the basic proportionality theorem or you can say Thales theorem of triangle. Now we are just going to learn the converse of the basic proportionality theorem or you can say opposite of uh, uh, basic proportionality theorem. The statement is something like this. Uh, if a line divides any two sides of a triangle in the same ratio then the line must be parallel to the third side. Now the question is saying something like this. Let me make a figure. Uh, suppose this is my triangle. All right, and in this triangle, if I have a two points, something like these two points, let me give the name A and B. All right, and this is P Q R triangle. Then he is saying that now this A P, right? Uh, this A P part and this A Q part have been intersected by the line A B. I and mean, similarly, PB and this PP are also intersected. So now, actually, when they get intersected, what we got? We got a good ratio. You know, AP or I can say AQ has the same ratio of intersection as the PB and BR. Now, question is saying that you need to prove that this line AB and QR are parallel. Like, if you have the intersection something like uh, if it is like you can say something uh, x meter and if it is something like y meter then it should be you know something some number times some number m times x meter and uh, this would be some number again same number m times y so finally you should get you know the same ratio I mean like if it is in the place of x if you wanna uh, replace by uh, suppose 3 and 4 then, then you know what will be the ratio of AP over PB? AP over PB will be three over four, and BP will be how much? Yeah, M times M times maybe larger, maybe smaller. M times three, and this is how much? M times four. So finally, what do you get? You got the same ratio, you know. So it means uh, uh, the way they have been intersected, you know, the the ratio of this part and this part, how they have been intersected, is exactly the same with this part and this part question is something like this so if it is it is so you know if this is condition then we have to now prove that this line is going to be parallel with the third side so let's just start proving uh, and I'm going to make a very good figure here so now this is my figure right and in, in this figure uh, what is the given things according to the question that we have got the ratio of uh, let me give first this name uh, this is point A and this is point B. So according to the question that uh, the ratio of AP over the AQ is same as PB over the uh, BR. I mean, uh, question is saying ratio of this AP over the QA is same like this PB over the BR. Right? This is the given conditions by the question and uh, now we need to prove you know to prove we have to prove that AB is parallel with QR we need to prove this AB our this side is parallel with QR we need to prove this but it is not uh, parallel now we cannot say these are parallel so you know in this question again we need to do a little bit construction here and our construction is here our construction is you know from the point A you know let's let's draw a parallel line to this QR from the point QR you know fr from the line QR uh, means uh, similar to the QR we're going to make a parallel line parallel line okay let me say now AC right this AC line is parallel this line AC is parallel with QR okay I have uh, I have just imagined here let's draw uh, construction is like AC parallel to QR okay we have imagined here that AC is parallel to QR so now let's go for the proof so here I'm going to talk about the statements and here I'm going to talk about the reasons so in the first statement what I mean to say here uh, from the basic proportionality theorem or the Thales theorem that we had learned in the last video what we had learned that if a line parallel to the third side of a triangle right I'm talking about the line AC here, which is parallel to the mm, QR, right? We'll always divide the rest of these two sides. Rest of these two sides means side uh, PQ and PR of the triangle into the equal ratios. Means the ratio of div division of this AP over over AQ and uh, 
and this PC over the CR will be same you know because here AC line is parallel with QR so same thing I'm going to talk here now I'm going to write now here AP over AQ is in the ratio with PC over CR and the reason for this is from basic proportionality theorem from uh, basic proportionality theorem or Thales theorem from Thales theorem you can write basic proportionality theorem also that's not the problem again what we have got from the from the given thing you know what is the given AP over AQ so here AP over AQ is actually equals to as per the given by the question PB over BR PB over the BR right this is what this is the given condition now if you see here you know we got the two things in the third point what we can do like see here this PB over BR is equal with AP over AQ and again this PC over CR is equal with AP over AQ so now we can equate right so what I got that PC over CR is equal with PB over BR so this is from 1 and 2 now I'm going to solve this now see this is PC over CR and PB over BR uh, I'm just going to add both side 1 1 okay so PC over CR plus 1 and in this side also PB over BR plus 1 so what I'm doing actually adding both side 1 now it will be PC plus CR over CR equals to again PB plus BR over BR and in the figure if you see uh, PC plus CR let's see what it is PC plus CR PC you know PC plus CR this is going to make PR right completely this is going to make PR so in the place of this now I can I can say that this is PR PR over CR and here PB plus BR what it is let's let's try to see PB plus BR right PB plus BR again that's the same thing PR right PB plus BR you know this PB plus BR it's going to make again the line PR right so let's write the same stuff here PR over BR so again we can cancel something here this PR and PR will cancel out and now we are we are going to left with BR equals CR hey what we get here let's take a look over here your BR is equal with CR so what is BR now see here this is BR right and this is CR this part is CR both we got equal hey what does they mean means this point C and this point B are same right point C and point B are same we got according to the last 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 thing what we had got like this C point and this B point that we had imagined independently are not independent actually they are same you know the point C and point this B is the same it means the line AC is same as the line AB alright so from here what we can say that this is you know this is BR equals to CR so what we can say both are since both are equal so we can say that point since point B is equal with point C you know point B is equal to point C so in the fourth line what I'm going to talk about that I'm going to say now the line AB is equal with line AC and the reason for this will be simple from the conclusion of point 3 so from the conclusion of point 3 what we get AB is equals with AC right as in the figure if you see now this this AB is equal with AC both are the same line okay now in the third condition what we had uh, from the question what we had got that AC is parallel with QR if AC is parallel with QR and AC is equal with AB then definitely AB is also parallel with QR right see AC is parallel with QR so in the place of AC I can replace by AB now right from the question itself uh, now in question number uh, in point 5 what I'm going to write that AC is parallel with Q 
QR, right? This is from the construction. From construction we had did. So now in the this AC, right? In the sixth, what I can say in the place of AC, you know, here see AC is equal with AB. So what I can do that AC in the place of AC, I'm going to replace this. All right. So I can say now AB is parallel to QR. So in sixth. I can write from 4 statement and from 5 statement. In 4 statement what we had got AB is equal with AC and in 5th statement what we had got AC is parallel to QR. So now I can replace AC by AB because both are equal. So that's what we got. AB is parallel to QR. And what we want? What the question was asking? Yes. The question was asking to prove that AB is parallel to QR. So now we got AB is parallel to QR. That's it, right? This is called converse of uh, Thales theorem or basic proportionality theorem. From now, what we got the conclusion that you know, uh, if we have a triangle and uh, if a line is going to intersect the two sides of the triangle, right, in some ratio, in certain ratio, uh, let's say, suppose this line, uh, this part, and this part, so this is in m parts and this is in n parts, means this line has been intersected in m ratio n, then the same uh, ratio will be here also, right, if the same ratio is holding here also then the line which is intersecting in such a way should be parallel to the third side right so if a line intersect the two sides of the triangle in certain ratio then the line must be parallel to the third side and what the sales theorem was saying yeah sales theorem was saying that if a line parallel to the third side if there is a line parallel to the third side intersecting two other sides then while intersecting it will have the same ratio of intersection to the both of the sides this was our Thales theorem. So now we'll be le learning some uh, good examples and some practical application. You know, uh, like in a triangles, we'll be finding out the missing sides. Like, like side this this side may be missing, or this side may be missing. Sometime we may have to prove that these are parallel or not. Different different types of the problem we'll be solving that will definitely clear you all doubts and we'll get more concept. You know, and geometry is you know completely based on the concepts how you gonna apply the things that you have learned. You know, so catch you in the next video. Goodbye.